Hey, Project Life interns. It is Wednesday, April 1st. Uh, we have made it to the month of April. I apologize for the background noise. We have started uh, digital learning here at my house, so it's uh, awfully crazy. So I'll do my best to keep the noise down. So let's get started. Uh, remember to do your best. Uh, do what you can when you can. Send me the email. Uh, you guys are still doing a great job of sending me your answers directly. For team building today, in August, we defined our six rules of being an effective team member in my program. Use the following rating scale to assess your skills. So you'll look down here and just kind of uh, check where you feel like you're at with these uh, rules. Uh, the first rule was respect others' ideas, use time wisely, communicate clearly, help others participate, work together, and respect all members. Uh, an optional assignment, if you would like, is to extend your answer. Just provide details or examples of how you've exemplified each rule uh, and why you feel like you're at those rating scales, but that's optional. Uh, unit two, workplace safety. Uh, question one, this sign informs employees to wear safety gear to protect the face while in a certain room or area. Is it A, B, or C? Question two, this sign informs employees to wear safety gear to protect their eyes while in a certain room or area. A, B, or C. Question three, this sign informs employees to wear safety gear to protect the head from falling objects while in a certain room or area. A, B, or C. And question four, this sign informs employees to wear safety gear to protect their ears from loud noises while in a certain room or area. A, B, or C. For social skills, developing appropriate workplace relationships is important for the workplace. Knowing what is appropriate and inappropriate in a workplace relationship is the foundation. Identify the following scenarios uh, if they are appropriate or inappropriate. Jim and Lisa work together at Sandmar. They are work friends. Lisa asked Jim if he would like to check out the new Marvel movie next week after their shift. Is that appropriate or inappropriate? Question two. Annie always flirts with Ben at work. She smiles and says nice things to Ben all the time. They even eat lunch together at break. Sometimes any request to work in the same section as Ben. Is this appropriate or inappropriate? Question three, Sam really likes Tiffany. They work together at Kroger's. He leaves her secret notes and flowers in her locker for Valentine's Day, but doesn't put his name on the card. Is this appropriate or inappropriate? If you guys wanna uh, do an extension, uh, and this is just optional, you can extend and justify your answers and, and your email responses to me. For section four, financial literacy today, we're just balancing Larry's uh, checkbook. Uh, Austin, this one is for you, buddy. Um, his daily balance was at $6.59. He made purchases at Amazon for $68, La Rosa's for $32, UDF for $30, and Duke Energy for $175. And what I'm looking for in your answers here, guys, is the number or the balance that you get down here. Unit 5 Technology, I want you guys to spend a little bit of time on Ohio Means Jobs website. Um, by all means, explore after you've done this particular assignment. It's got a lot of great resources and materials. I want you to go to Ohio Means Jobs and then click on the Work Values Assessment. You'll need to do a little bit of search to find that. It's down at the bottom. Remember to drag the boxes below by categorizing them into the most important and least important. And I gave you guys a little screenshot of what that'll look like once you get there. Uh, if this is too hard or you're, you're not finding it, don't worry about it, but I thought this was a cool activity. Unit six, preparing for employment. I just want you guys to do, uh, just identify three real world companies you would like to interview at after complete, completing Project Life or Project Search. Again, a real world company, for example, might be Kroger. Unit seven, maintaining employment. Prioritizing tasks in the workplace means taking care of the most important tasks first. This also means completing tasks that have a specific time or due date before other tasks can be completed any time. Try to prioritize the task below for an employee at the Project Life Pizzeria. Use the next slide to help you document your answer. These tasks are not in order. The first one is clock out, wash hands, clock in, preparing pizza dough, cut the toppings, roll the silverware, and clean the restrooms. Again, think about which, which should be done first uh, and prioritizing the most important to the last. Here's how you guys can provide your answers in an email, just something similar to that. And for Unit 8, Independent Living, we're working on kitchen safety today. We got a key down here at the bottom. 
Our vocabulary words are shoes, detector, fire, spills, hands, oven mitt, and knives. Question one, always use a blank when removing hot items from the oven. Two, make sure your smoke blank is working. Three, know how to use your blank so you do not cut yourself. Four, clean up blank quickly to prevent slipping and falling. Five, wear blank and safe clothes while cooking. Six, wash your blank after touching raw meats and preventing the spread of, to prevent the spread of bacteria. And seven, have a blank extinguisher handy to put out any kitchen fires. Keep hurt, working hard, guys. It's going to pay off, I promise. Um, all the hard work you're putting in on the virtual learning uh, will we'll definitely pay off uh, next, you know, at the uh, when we get back or maybe next school year. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys soon. Hope everybody's doing good.